have to take some positives, which I always look for the positives. At, at the moment, sitting here, uh, of course I've got a dejected dressing room. Um, but to come here and score three has to be pleasing in some respect, but it doesn't feel like it at the moment. I think um, when we get back to the training ground and we reflect and the types of goals we scored and how compact and disciplined we were in terms of the game plan and trying to hit Arsenal on the counter-attack, I thought it worked very, very well uh, in terms of the players' effort. Um, we saw it through for 83 minutes and then to concede two late set plays in the manner we did is obviously um, hard to take. What would be the thoughts behind the Inacho substitution? Uh, bring him on um, to, to get in and around Xhaka um, because I thought he was having a major influence in the game. Even though you, you previously changed back to, to three midfield and you changed back to four four two. Um, I think you try and make substitutions for the right reasons. Um, never really cost us the game in terms of that because they scored from two set plays. Um, in terms of the, the positives, you say the positives, it just the, the goals that you scored during the week of In terms of the positives, you mentioned you looked I think you saw, as, as I've said, the, the disciplined performance. I thought we counter attacked very well. I thought individual performances uh, for a first game was very, very good. But more importantly, I thought we, uh, as a team, we showed our resilience uh, and then we played and created chances when we could. You said about the, the set pieces in terms of defending, is there any other sort of areas that you thought you looked a bit, a bit weak on? No. Nope. Jamie Vardy was obviously interested in Arsenal just over a year ago. But how pleased are you that he looked terrific tonight, didn't he? <coughs> I thought all oh, pre-season, he's looked sharp, he's looked fit um, and as you say, I think um, we all know in terms of Jamie Vardy's attributes, he can be a nuisance for defenders, we encourage him to do that, we encourage to, for our midfield players to play the ball in behind um, and he'll be a threat and you know, as you say, he's come here tonight and got the goals um, which his performance deserved. Craig, there appeared to be a I have, there's no appear, it's a definite handball. Disappointed that the referee didn't give it because I think he had a great view. But ultimately then we need to defend the corner given because we all know that referees sometimes get it wrong. Uh, of course, you'd like him to give that. But once he does give the corner, we have to defend the second phase better. Just speaking to the players in there. When you defend the corner, you cannot come out if, there's, if the ball hasn't been cleared. You need to be aware of your man, uh, and you, we clearly uh, didn't defend that as well as what we can do. What is your objective for the end of this season? I'm going to say at this stage, but what is your final objective for the season? I think we try and be competitive as we can in a very, very tough Premier League. I think the money being spent at the moment in terms of the top six from last season, everyone can see that it's going to be such a competitive league. We have to be as competitive as we can. We want to try and um, win every game. We're not going to be able to, we know that, but we have to be competitive in every game. Craig, are you confident keeping these players together despite the renewed interest in, in, in Mahrez in particular? Yes. How did you see your Kazaki performance including the goal? Yeah, I've spoke before about Sinji's team ethic and work rate um, and we've seen that and um, very pleased with his overall performance. And Maguire in defence today, Craig, he, he was sure he had you won on the man of the match with you both. He's been very impressive since he came in, not only in his performances but in his character. I think i um, very pleased on the recruitment side to get him in over the line early, which we did. We've had the chance to, to bed him in and um, as you've seen tonight, I think he'll be a great acquisition for the football club. Thank you. Thank you.